Hi, Gopher fans. It's Mike Grimm from the Gopher Radio Network and GopherSports.com, and we are barnstorming with Grimm, where once again this week, we're taking you into a new place at Williams Arena for you to see. And right now, we're going to tell you about the elevated floor. The visiting team is interesting here because they're not used to it. They come out of the locker room right here to my left, and then they will come up the steps onto the arena floor, and what's the first thing they see? Caution, elevated surface, and this little beauty there, someone falling off of the elevated floor. Then they'll walk up the steps toward their team bench, and there you see, there's that elevated floor, which is about 24 to 28 inches up. And then they'll have to take two steps to get up to the floor. Now this floor was the original floor up through the last season. Before the 2010 season, they put in a new floor, but it was original. The interesting thing, underneath this floor, no one knew what was under it. It was dirt. For all those years, from 1928 to 2009, it was dirt underneath this floor. That is Barnstorming with Grimm. And now here's what's happening with the Golden Gophers this week. The Golden Gophers continue to lead the Big Ten in block shots, something not new to the program. Minnesota's led the league in blocks in each of the past three seasons. This year, Rodney Williams is fifth in the Big Ten in blocks, Ralph Sampson III is seventh, and Elliott Eliason's block against Illinois' Myers Leonard was a key to a first-half turnaround in last weekend's win.